what's going on guys it's Keda here and this is 12 volt to 220 volt converter uh, as you can see it is very small in size it can easily fit into my hands so basically how it operates there is a cigar lighter plug right here so you can put this plug into your car and by doing so you can use any kind of AC AC powered equipment like your charger, cell phone charger and use normally like that so let's take a quick look inside this ok so on the label right here as you can see right here there is a DC 12 volt or 20 volt 24 volt input and it has a 6 volt USB output with 500 milliamps then it can output DC 220 volts notice that it is DC and our normal outlet is AC 220 volts so take that in mind so let's open it and see what's inside it So here is the circuit from the converter and as you can see here is a MOSFET, there is a transformer, output pins, they haven't used another kind of pins, it is the cheapest way to do, do that and USB right here, to control the 6 volt there is a Zener diode for it and basic stuff to give pulses for the transformer. So this transformer will convert 12 volt into 220 volts. So that's simple simplest mechanism of this circuit. And soldering quality is decent. I mean, it's it works, not very good, but that that was not the point of testing. So let's do some test. So right now I'm providing 12 volts at the input side of this converter as you can see 12.033 and let's test the output voltage of this device as you can see we'll be getting 223 volts at the output so good enough let's try to connect in reverse and negative 223 that means you see it is DC so let's test the thing with load practically as you can see I have connected a cell charger so I am right now giving 12 volts uh, constantly means but uh, as you can see it is constantly turning on and off so there is not sufficient voltage to run this converter properly so it doesn't work at 12 volt it just switch on and off continuously well I have connected the load and as you can see after 2 or 3 minutes this is the temperature 60 degree celsius normally normal room temperature is 34 and the MOSFET is getting really hot as you can see the load is not very big it is only 2 watts of load let me show you it is 2.5 watts of load right here probably you cannot able to see but it is 2.5 watts of load but the, right now I have turned off the circuit but as you can see it is near about 60 degree celsius so it does not handle power very well well the reading shows that it is not usable for practical applications like this this small charger even and uh, the cell phone charger is the long way journey then so 
so but i bought this for 2 dollar 46 cents and where can i can i use this so let's take a look where i used it okay well so the idea is that to use this 5 watt solar panel to this converter right here so that it will directly convert this 5 watts power into ac equivalent and we can directly use it to our normal application so let's do that okay well i have connected this converter right here so the moment of the truth let's connect the load and as you can see it is started LEDs are glowing I will disconnect it so you can see I connected well it kind of works it seems to work at least and here is our whole setup and by the way there is a USB so I can able to charge my cell phone through this but it's not a good idea I think cause it is 6 volt output but for my another projects or another kind of stuff I can use 6 volts ok so this is the solar inverter that I have made as you can see it is very thin in not very thin but relatively thin in size and it is portable 5 watt inverter so you can take it anywhere and it doesn't cost me very much I think for this circuit two dollar and forty six cents I will put the link in the description below so you can buy this and have a fun good day